Oh, brand new LP. This is gonna be fun. Fatal Frame Two, Crimson Butt. I know. I just fin I, I just finished a full LP, but here I am again. And on this the is, controls for another full LP. This is kind of crazy when you think about it, because this is like our first one of the new year, of, yep. like our our second year. This is our sophomore LP, if you will. It's also our first post Magfest one, and so that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm Andy. Oh, Katie. And welcome to Fatal Frame Two, a game with title screen music that does not at all fit the game. Which I, I can't even hear it. I don't even know if it's going anymore. It briefly was playing. I think it stopped. I don't know. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, screw it. We're going in. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just drew this one out of a hat, basically. It's one I, like, we'd always planned on doing, but we were thinking of a few other games and I couldn't decide, so, like, I literally just wrote them all on pieces of paper and <laughs> she randomly, did it work one day. randomly drew, and this was, this was the one I threw in just randomly. The other ones were ones that we were seriously thinking about, and I threw this one in randomly just as I was like, I'm gonna add an extra one in, and this ended up being the one that I pulled, so. And I just got this text that said, yeah, we're doing Fatal Frame 2. <laughs> it's like, okay, we're doing Baby Metal the game, so let's do this thing. I'm gonna go normal. And hopefully not screw it up. I think we'll be all right. Our I know. Ho holy crap! Look at how fast that load screen goes compared to say I don't know Borderlands. So this is very much a story of twins. Um, you'll start to see their backstory, and you'll see it all throughout. That uh, obviously they've been tight together all their lives as twins are, and there was an incident in their uh, younger days. Um, to Mayu or Mayo or what? Mayu, Mayu and Miu. Mayu Mio? and Miu. Mio and Mayu. <laughs> <laughs> Mio uh, Mayu. Hagen Dawes and Horsefucker <laughs> are twins. And, it's really uh, hard to say those two names. One I of them realize. fucked up their legs. Is Mio what and Mayu. I know this is FMB, but that's such pretty water. That really matters to me. Uh, it's a minor thing. Also, apparently these uh, twin sisters are uh, heavily into the color brown. Like big time. This All of this will be gone soon does matter, but it doesn't really get into it too much in the plot. I had to read up a little bit more to figure remember what that's all about. Um, and no, that's not the wind twins, but she's wearing a white yeah. skirt, <laughs> in case you're wondering. Yes. Oh, Mayu I and Mio. I didn't even notice. Mio. What, what, okay. what are you looking at? That ass. <laughs> I'm looking at that crimson butt, or fly. I'm going to shoehorn that joke in. Start a counter. So, uh, Mio kind of jacked up her leg in the past. Oh, no, Mayu. Mayu? Ah, shit. I'm gonna get this wrong for the entire goddamn game. <laughs> yeah, Mayu is the one who fucked up her leg. Yeah, so she just wanders the fuck off. Um, so the reason why the this is all going to go away soon comes up as she's chasing off a mysterious crimson butterfly there is they're building like a they're building a dam or something and like it's all gonna get like turned into a lake or some weirdness. It's basically going to get destroyed by progress, in a way, is what's going to happen to this area. Like, they're destroying a dam, they're building a dam, somebody's just yelling goddamn really loudly. Something along those lines. Is were, the, were they going to uh, cover the town by any chance? Uh, I Possibly? believe so, yes. Like a town under a lake? That would be creepy. Yep, that would be. That'd be disturbing. Isn't that what Cheat Lake was? Is it? What? I is thought, it? I thought it was. I don't know. <laughs> oh, eh, get your hands on my neck, bitch. Uh, you can also see that they were seeing things that weren't them. I'll go ahead and point that out there, because it could be confusing at first. Is it or is it not? It's not them that they were seeing. But what was it? I don't know. I have no idea. Also, apparently it's dark as fuck all of a sudden. When did that happen? I have finished this game a couple times. I don't remember the story very well. I have, uh, I've watched Katie play through it once. I've never actually played it myself. I remember bits and pieces of that. I did some research, um, and if I remember correctly... The thing about the Fatal Frame series, and I guess this is a good point uh, to go ahead and bring this up as Katie's um, reacquainting with controls and getting in. This is uh, Fatal Frame 2. Now, normally when we do a game series, we like to start with the first one in the series and go through to keep the story intact, and so we can always call back to the other story moments, etc. Fatal Frame, the series, none of them are actually connected to each other necessarily plot-wise, but they take place in the same world, in a shared universe, um, the guy who created the Camera Obscura, which is, of course, the main item thing, tool, conceit, even, if you will, of the game, uh, he gets referenced, and, of course, the camera itself happens, but the plots are not dependent on each other, understanding one, understanding the other. As of yet, I don't think you need to. In fact, this should take place in 1980, 
literally concurrently, from what I've read, with the first Fatal Frame. Like, they're going on simultaneously, or roughly so. Which the so. first Fatal Frame, I have, like, I don't know anything about. Yeah, I, I know that uh, you take pictures of ghosts with cameras. <laughs> I got that far. Well, if you know one thing about Fatal Frame, you know that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I always like kind of the imagery of how she's wearing, like, they're both wearing those red bows that are almost somewhat suggestive of a red butterfly. Yeah. I always thought that was a cool thing. <laughs> hey! It's a cool trick. It's like a Street Fighter V intro. Feel it. What? Found it. It's a village full of There's orders. gonna be a lot of whispering. Yeah. In this. The Lost Village, as founded by Carmen Sandiego and that guy found from Waldo. <laughs> Please enjoy a black screen. I might put Richard Nixon there again. Well, we have subtitles so far. Okay, we're good. We worried about subtitles because we didn't have the option, but I think we're gonna be all right. Can we get lost in the woods or trapped in the village? Yep. And then they're lost. But the village is found? I don't know. I'm hoping we run into village It's people. like a nice, calm evening. Yeah. That's, yeah. Like we should go there. Outside of the fact that, you know, there's lots of crazy uh, ghosts and shit and creepy shit in the village, I would probably check it out. I'd, I'd go hang there. You know? It'd be like a trip to a haunted house. And this is a safe point. Oh, Okay. I wish I'd see more things in real life. Oh, wait, here it is. The, uh, yeah, this should be it. Let me, the, say, yeah, here's the music that we want to talk about. So, this is a Tecmo game, but this music is almost something like you would have heard in, um, Resident Evil. Like, specifically, like, RE4, maybe Code Veronica, or somewhere in that mid, two thousand early 2000s, Well, this is 90s. early 2000s. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying that, that run of Resident Evil is what I was getting to, is okay. you would, uh, it's something you would hear from that. It really does not fit. It's almost a, somewhat of a martial military theme, which is nothing at all to do with this game. I don't know. I just thought that was kind of a thing to point out, but I had a point before that, and I totally forgot it. I'll come back to it if I remember. If not, then uh, comment and tell me what it was. Oh, yes, no, now I know. Uh, that LinkedIn <laughs> thing. Never mind. We'll comment anyway. Um... I, I wish we'd saw, see cool shit like that, you know? Like little just cool lanterns like that everywhere on sidewalks. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm longing for better aesthetics in our town, I guess. It's a thing. All right. <laughs> I see a shiny down there. I think that's just a light on that building. I don't know. It's glinting, uh, but I can't tell. Well, I guess we're going to the town. Well, we're going to find out either way. Hey, keep up. <laughs> hey, I know you got Gimpy. a gimpy leg, but <laughs> you can actually see on her character model how the uh, one knee is bandaged yeah. up. I thought that was a nice touch. And thankfully, why would it still be bandaged? It happened when they were kids. Like, is that really helping? I don't know. Maybe it's like she's wearing, it's like a brace, except it's just a bandage because it was 1980 and they didn't have like neoprene and shit. I don't know. There is something on I the mean, ground. I mean, she injured her leg when she was a little kid, though, and she's still wearing the bandage. Yeah. Thing. That's weird. And how bad she, did she really jack it up back then? Oh, I found a purse. Plot progression. Geological survey are missing. <coughs> <laughs> God's damn. <laughs> All God's damn. Okay, so they do. this is where they do talk about it a little bit and why some people are missing. I apparently was not paying attention to this at all. <laughs> I remembered it, thankfully. Let's see. Uh, ah, site that would be submerged once the dam was built. Yep. So, it hasn't and this been heard from in five days. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Follow up to that other news clipping. Masumi Makamura, since the fourth of this month, came to a close yesterday. We searched for an entire ten days, and then gave up and said, "God's dam." All God's dam is an interesting name for a dam or anything. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's weird. Hmm. Couple. Hmm. Hey, we have a file. Is that the geological surveyor? And I'm guessing his girlfriend went looking for him? Is that Seems her viable. purse that he uh, just found? That would be my guess. Which does not bode well if she dropped her purse there, but nothing's happening to you guys so far. Hi! Whoa! Something's Hi. up there. Hi! Hi! I'm sure she's friendly. Yeah, let's go holler her. Hey, we found your village. Let me holler at you. <laughs> holler back, ghost girl. Because <laughs> uh, I ain't no holler back, ghost girl. <coughs> Rejected one, Stefani. Oh, calls. hey, there's a moving light, so someone's here. Yep. Okay, here it is. 
here it is. God damn it. This is one of the creepiest fucking things ever. I, uh, It's not I scary. Disagree. It's creepy. Just, it creeps me out. It always has. It's not scary at all. It's just creepy. Like, just that concept. Like, and then you see the other one walking by. It's like, uh, shit. Oh, uh, oh shit. I don't have, oh, wait, that's, yeah, that's right. right. I don't we have can't my camera do yet. Fuck. So this game definitely wants to go through, like, New Game Plus to get everything, because we would have started with the camera on New Game Plus. That's the only way you could ever get to that ghost. P.S. The enemies are ghosts, if we haven't made that clear. So. I may have to stand up during this cutscene and make sure a cat Wrangle stops a being a butthead. So. Katie, please tell us what we're doing or not doing. <laughs> right now we're walking into a creepy house. Okay, what are we not doing? The, I don't know. Winning the Super Bowl. Oh, well, yeah, that's one thing. <laughs> see. She's obviously freaking out. Yeah, she's losing her shit. And she can, like, What's see something that? that we can't. Oh, there we go. They must have some sort of psychic ability thing. Yeah. Happening. Well, and there's always that whole, like the twins thing, how they sort of... Oh, yeah, this is the girl that went looking for him. Ah, okay. Okay. Cool. I like this film grain they're putting over, like, when shit's... Whoa! When shit's happening. Two people hanging there. That's a very creepy voice. That is. I'm trying to think of where I've heard a voice like that. Um, is there ever a voice that says Silent Hill in a tone like that? I don't think so. Silent Hill. I don't know. Or maybe I'm thinking of it from the first movie. Well, then I'd suggest stopping. Oh! I just realized what was going on there. Okay. It looked like she walked into that room and found the guy who was missing, and he was the one strangling her there. Like, oh. he was strangling the girl that went to find him. Well, shit. So he must have been possessed or something. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know. The line, I don't want to kill anymore. That's a loaded one. So, this is very much an older, older style Japanese village. I want to say, like, what, 1800s, maybe? In that realm? I'm not an expert. I'm not either. I mean, no matter right, what... So you have to use the analog stick. <laughs> no matter what our Simpsons playthrough might have indicated, I am not an expert in Japan. No, Pick Japanese up a shiny culture. if you see it. Oh, let's see. Do, do, do. Oh. I love when there's a massacre on the day of the ceremony. Twin deity statues. I feel like that's important. Yep. Once you pass the gate, you're fucked. Well, wish I'd known that earlier. This is this is pretty much just throwing it all down. Like this is it. <laughs> it's like the well, village. I mean, have is I just... passed through the gate though? I don't I know. I feel like the gate is later. I mean, the village is pretty much just groundhog daying the massacre over and over again. So there is something sort of Resident Evil to me about this game, but it's like yeah. a mix between like it's a mix between. Uh, Code Veronica and four. Um, I don't know. Should like it's graphically closer yeah, to four, but point. yeah, it's weird. Don't think I really need it. Should be good for now. Having said that, like Lisa pops out from around the corner and eats our shit. <laughs> I don't want her to eat my shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, too bad. You pretty much signed up for Lisa eating your shit when you walked through the gate, and there's no returning. <laughs> you are now part of the shit eaten by Lisa fan club. <laughs> the ceremonial song. Please, Lisa, don't right, they eat our shit. say the village shit. vanished on the day of a ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over again. Yep. So it is Groundhog Day. And unfortunately, the ceremony was not one honoring Bill Murray. That would have been uh, kind of okay, actually. You're and ironic. Oh, well, don't say that. What, we're being watched by someone, yeah. or ironic? Them being watched by oh. someone. Just shut up, whatever your name is. <laughs> Mayu, Miyu. Mayu. Hey, you want to move? Mitsuzuki something, I don't know. Mm -hmm. 